here is this is a very zoomed out view of Tinderbox, yeah. which is the view of uh, our build servers, which are located in a co-location facility down in California. And these are the build and test machines that constantly build Firefox and constantly test Firefox through our unit test framework. Uh, and then report back on whether or not the build was successful or not. Uh, so as we check in, as we change code, yeah. we're building almost every hour. Now tell me, the Tinderbox servers, it's obviously some kind of clustered array, uh, multiple redundancies, etc. How big is it? Uh, so I'm you'd curious. Think, you'd like to think it's a clustered array with multiple I, redundancies. I, I'm, I'm clustered array have, sounds like the organized way. Yeah, I'm yeah. thinking yeah. you've got uh, 20 systems, uh, multiple uh, 16 Xeon CPUs, those kind of things. Ben? No, actually, um, I'm, one of, I'm a part of the build team, yeah. so I help manage these machines, and yeah. it's uh, Windows and Linux are just a bunch of, we've yeah. got a bunch of X serves uh, yeah. for the Mac stuff. Yeah. Um, they're not they're not really that powerful. Yeah. Um, they're just basic 1 gig, 2 gig RAM machines okay. on ESX server. Yeah. And those, those are the actual build machines, so the yeah. build and test machines are mostly running on things like, uh, actually our test framework, for example, yeah. um, we have you know, triple redundancy on the test machines just so that yeah. we're getting three test runs so we can compare the numbers. Yeah. And those are all running on Mac minis. Because oh, you can load VMs on a Mac mini really yeah. easily. And so we have like stack hardware. Yeah. We have arrays of like fifty Mac minis in racks. Yeah, we've got about eighty. That's Mac entirely surprising because I I would have assumed some some massive IBM blade server <laughs> setup. <laughs> You know, like defense department uh, and specs. Then, and then Tinderbox okay. itself is running on I guess a blade, right? Now, the Tinderbox server itself is probably on one of our CentOS machines or, or Red Hat Enterprise machines. Yeah. Right. Um, and it's just pulling in all the results.